I wasn't even gonna do this review because wow. And I don't mean that to say, uh, go watch this movie. This was, okay. I don't even know how to explain this. I watched the Josh Prey thing about, oh my God, it was the greatest thing ever. Holy crap, it grabbed me by the throat from the beginning and just didn't let go. And okay, I can kind of get where he was coming from, but usually if there's an SJW that hates something, I have to see it. Anything that pisses them off is something I want to see. That's probably the rebel in me. I'm gonna have to agree with them on this one. Was it a good movie? Depends on how you look at it. It was masterfully made. If you want to drum up that part in you that craves chaos, that craves burning down a city. And it's not even like that. It's not a hugely violent movie at all. I like violent movies. I'm American. This was looking at how somebody with a mental illness that society just treats like crap can snap. And I get it. I get it. I mean, maybe I'm alone here, but I doubt it. But I've been in that place where I just wanted to strangle somebody after Micah was murdered. I had a dream. Killed. I, in my dream, I killed the person that killed Micah. That's a story in itself. We'll leave it out. I'm not crazy. Just, well, maybe I am a little bit. Okay. But this movie, I left with such a sick feeling. I don't see this movie. And by saying that, I'm sure people are going to want to see it. But I'm telling you... I literally want to go in there and like, read my Bible and watch Avengers just to clean myself out. It was so hard on my spirit. As far as creation goes, it was masterfully done. The acting was amazing. The story was very realistic. It was touches that deep, dark part of you that you really don't want anyone else to know that you even have ever. Yeah, I don't know how to review this movie. Uh, I will never watch it again. I don't give a crap how well it was created. It makes me feel like crap. I worked for years to defeat that part of me that was angry and, you know, just, I love how I see my phone and my glasses. That's terrible. How about we tilt down? Nope, doesn't help. Well, you're going to see my eyeballs, this little phone thingies. Anyway, I, I, I'm going to go read my Bible and watch Avengers because, no, I'm out. I'm out. Nope. Before I go... Um, I do want to point out that I, honest to God, would not go to the theater to see this because it really does attract the kind of people that are in the movie that it's portraying. <clears throat> it, uh, there was a guy, here's the story. There was a guy, when we were walking out, my son was next to me, and of course, he just, water off a duck's back with him. He uh, was just talking to me about it, and I'm just aware of this person that's behind us, walking behind us, closer than I'm comfortable with. And I didn't have my weapon on me, which was stupid. Every time I don't have that damn thing on me, something happens where I'm like, where's my gun? Anyway, we're walking out there, and there's something wrong with this guy. And you know how you just get that sense about someone that they're just, they're just wrong, something's wrong with them. And like, you need Jesus kind of wrong. And so we get out of the theater, and I, my, my pant leg was caught in my boot, so I stopped for a second to get my pant leg out. My son was standing over here to my left, and uh, I fiddled with my boot. He walked out behind us and stood there about five feet away. Well, we're not moving until he goes. So I stand there. I mean, I will fiddle with my boot for the next three hours if I have to. I'm not walking in front of this guy with my kid. So he goes, walks he finally, like five or six seconds, which is a long time if you're just standing there waiting for somebody to get past you, he finally walked past us with his arms straight by his sides. Now, in my experience, there's only two reasons you walk with your hands straight behind your, straight by your sides, like no balance at all, right? And that's, that's either a mental illness or you're hiding a shank or a gun. So as he's walking ahead about 30 feet, he looks behind just a little bit, like, eyeballs me out of the corner of his eye and I just play it off like I didn't see anything and he goes slowly walking so freaking slow where I had to really drum up an excuse to be behind him and he finally turns toward the lobby and I told Tristan to wait thank god he's finally learned to just listen to me when I say something he just obeys he stood there for a minute and I'm watching this guy in the reflection of one of the uh movie things and I watched him walk down and toward the bathroom, not out the door. Because if he walked out the door, we'd have waited longer. But he went to the bathroom. And so Tristan and I went out the side door. Don't go to the theater to see this movie. It really is bringing out the weirdos. I, I mean, 
I'm telling you, don't don't see this movie. Not in theaters. And if I was you, I wouldn't see it at all. It was awful.